Hey, Lobo fans, welcome back inside the Lobo Lounge. It's time for part two of our great conversation with Lobo football starting center, Kyle Staple. Okay, so well, let's stay on the beard theme for a minute because it was just a short while ago, uh, last year actually, that you shaved it off and, and you, you raised $5,000 for the Lobo Scholarship Fund as, as part of the, uh, of the Cherry and Silver Gala. Um, how did that come about? Because I thought that was fantastic. And how quickly were you able to grow it back like it is now again? So it all kind of came about like a spur of the moment thing. I was sitting there, we were spotting bids, me and Jared Sylvester and Alex Hart. And then Clay Davey came over and said, hey, coach wants to see you. Uh, come over to our table for a minute. So I walked over to him and he just started joking around. And I thought he was going to ask me some football question or quiz me about something the way he started. And he's like, hey, what do you think about if we take this auction off the script and see if we can auction off your beard for a certain amount of money? And I thought about it for a sec and was like, why not? Let's do it. So it was a really good time. Had a lot of fun with it. It probably took me about a month to grow it back pretty good. And then to get it to this length by the end of the season, it was pretty much back. <laughs> when was the last time that you more than just sort of trimmed it and shaped it up a little bit. Was that the last time that you actually shaved was, was for, to raise the $5,000? By the way, D. Dennis, a great supporter of the Lobos and, and the athletics program, is the one that, that made the purchase there. That was a, a great contribution. But um, is that the last time that you shaved, so to speak? Yep, that was the last time I shaved it off. And that was what made it so fun is uh, D. Dennis came and we had the offensive line and it was kind of our thing. So Every offensive lineman took a chunk, and then Mr. Dennis got a big chunk at it right over here that he shaved off, and we had a whole lot of fun with it. And uh, I think Chris Estrella was the primary guy, right? One of your one of your fellow Lobo O linemen who actually works at UNM Athletics now. Yeah, he's the one I had to trust to line it up and make it look nice. <laughs> All right, so uh, the fact that spring practice got cut short, I know it's just such an unusual time, but you got only basically half of your 15 practices in, and then you knew when you went home for spring break that you wouldn't be coming back to, to start up football again because of what's going on uh, with COVID-19. Um, what's that been like for you? You know, I'm really glad that we were able to get, you know, eight of our 15 practices in at least. You know, it was a real bummer because after that last scrimmage right before spring break, I felt like everyone was hungry to come back and keep going. I felt like a lot of people wanted to just keep practicing and keep going to try and get continue to get better you know we definitely were starting to catch a momentum we were getting in a groove and so it was a little bit of a bummer it's been strange for sure to be home and to be doing everything on zoom and doing our workouts and things like that on our own but it's also been really good to be able to spend a lot of time with the family kind of get away a little bit and just kind of reset i'll wrap with a football question what's it like under new head coach Danny Gonzalez, a true Albuquerque and Lobo kid through and through and this new staff. Oh, it's wonderful. I'm loving it. Uh, everything, there's a really good energy around here. Everybody's really excited, both the guys in the facility and the people in the community. You can tell there's just a new excitement around Lobo football and I love it. Well, Kyle, uh, you stay safe and strong out there on the farm in Utah. Thanks for being with us in the Lobo Lounge. And we can't wait to see you back on campus, man. We hope sooner rather than later. Hey, thank you. Can't wait to get back. Lobo starting center, Kyle Stapley in the Lobo Lounge. Till next time, so long, Lobos.